Hi guys, uh, I just wanted to show your parents some simple ways that we play with words in kindergarten. Uh, we do a lot with uh, sounds and breaking apart the word. Uh, and one of the things that we like to do together is sound out the letters and sounds uh, simply by just using our fingers. Sometimes I use my shoulder, elbow, and wrist to kind of break apart the beginning, middle, and ending sounds. Um, and we also like to write with words just on a simple whiteboard and dry eraser marker. You guys, if you don't have this at home, can also simply just write these words on a sheet of paper or a notebook. Um, and this week, our letters of the week are J and W. So J says J and W says W. So you need to remember that as you hear these letters and sounds that I'm going to say um, and practice a little bit with you, you will be sounding out the sounds that you hear by writing the letters and the letters that you hear to match the sounds. Parents, you can do this again by just breaking apart the word slowly and giving your child a chance to indep independently write the letters that match the sound. Um, and I encourage you just be patient through the process of writing. The children are still learning to sound spell a lot of the words they hear. Um, I encourage them to use my word wall in the classroom as far as tracking and finding sight words that they already know. Um, and you can provide them with those lists of words that were sent home, um, the sight words that we're learning, the high frequency words. This week our sight words are yellow, blue, and green. And like I said, we're also doing the letters and sounds of J and W. So I'm just going to model a real quick way to uh, let your child sound spell and listen to the sounds that they hear. Um, and you can also, uh, I am going to attach the phonics paper below um, with a link of just, or I will scan rather, um, the vowel sound sheet so that you can encourage your child uh, just to look at the vowel sounds that match the picture. And if I say a vowel sound that they hear, have them try to write that. So one of the words that I'm gonna stretch out and or tap out with you is the word job. And I'll say that again slow, job. And then I'll break it apart. J, a, b, j, a, b. So you wanna get your child to write down all the letters and sounds they hear. The first letter again, and I would say it slow, j. They could match that letter with the sound. A, b. And as I said, as they're writing, just try to let them write the letters and uh, letters that they hear to match the sound, encourage them. You again want to just break apart the word and put it together for them. And as they're doing this, again, have them try to understand that the short vowel sounds they hear, they should be matching. So, O, octopus, A, ah, A, apple, A, ah, I, insect, I, E, elephant, E. Eh. Those are so far the vowel sounds that we've introduced. Um, and they do know the short sound of each vowel sound. So have fun. Like I said, uh, the list is attached in my email as, as to what CBC words you can use to spell with your child. And I also wrote one dictation sentence for your child to try to write on a piece of paper. Encourage your child through the writing process that they need to always start a sentence with a capital letter. They need finger spacing and they also need a form of punctuation at the end. Um, and so far, all of our sentences that we have been spelling are telling sentences which they know to end with a period. Okay, thanks. Have fun. Bye.